Dave Palmer, welcome back to playbetterdrums.com and welcome to this extension lesson for the Flowing and Triplets course. If you haven't checked out the Flowing and Triplets course, I suggest doing so. It's kind of a really nice basic overview of how to get into playing 16th note triplets and flowing in triplets, which is a question that I get asked about a lot, and how 16th note triplets are a really great gear, if you think of like a gear stick in a car, for lots of different tempos where 32nd notes are too fast, 16th notes are too slow. And so 16th note triplets are often overlooked by little drummers in terms of their general vocab. So this is kind of an extension that once you've kind of looked at the course and have got together a few stickings and a few patterns and starting to get that flow happening, this is another pattern that you can add to your vocabulary. And I like this pattern because it has a left before right uh, happening on the tom and the snare drum and then there's also a, a immediately after a right left so it's like a little question and answer phrase but it's really nice how the left hand hits the tom and the snare drum accent really pops out so up to speed the pattern is this So I'll slow that down in a second and also give you a couple of um, variations. The first thing to do is to just play the first chunk, which is the main part. That, that thing I just played was a one bar fill that I've written down in the PDF as like the final uh, phrase, if you like. And that's um, something I came across when I was playing. I tend to play it a lot. So when I slowed it down and transcribed it, that's what it was as a whole bar, but really the main most interesting part of that bar is the first bit, which is this. So a couple things to mention. Getting into that pattern, the first part of the sticking I use a lot. I tend to use that a lot starting patterns, you know, getting into a, some kind of 16th note triplet pattern. Then we have we've got a double bass drum and then that left right I was talking about. And then after that we have a, a single bass drum and a right left. But on the foot right left at the end, the right hand is unaccented and then the left hand on the tom is accented. So as soon as we finish that left hand, the next beat is the third beat of the bar. So that means that we have the third and fourth beat of the bar completely free to play whatever we want. So one exercise uh, on the PDF is just to get used to this pattern is playing that phrase, which is two beats, and then just playing straight 16th note triplets on the snare drum. That's something to try, and then you can start filling that third and fourth beat with anything. That's why this is an extension lesson to the Flowing and Triplets course, because we went through a lot of different stickings and ideas uh, for how to, to come up with your own triplet stickings in the course. So this is an idea of how you can take a little chunk of vocab, like that first bit I'm showing you, and then third and fourth beat could be filled with anything. So now you're starting to really mix patterns together and once you do that a lot and you start memorizing all these little chunks and putting them together, then you start getting a nice vocabulary together. And if we get now go back to the pattern um, that I played at the beginning, which is this. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just filling the third and fourth beat with So we've got right, left, left twice. And then another little pattern that I play a lot, which is. So that's a really nice flowing uh, second section for the third and fourth beat. Of course, you could put anything there, but once you start to get to that medium tempo, that first chunk with that left hand and right on the snare starts to sound really nice and unusual sounding. And of course, the next stage is to take what we currently have, particularly that first chunk, and start orchestrating it differently around the drums. and playing other um, 16th note triplet stickings nice and slow, so you're not repeating this pattern over and over all the time, you start to put it in with other things. So now I'll give an example of me just messing around with that pattern and what we've discussed in this lesson um, and coming up with a few different variations. <laughs> 